Sandix for email marketing complete tutorial for beginners. Hello guys, Celia here and today I'm going to show you how can we easily use Sandix.io for our email marketing. Here we are on the main website. Let's click on start free trial now. If you are new to this service, you have to create an account and answer for some of the questions. Basically, I'm on my dashboard already because I have an account. And here we are from this page here. We can come here if you click in the left top corner on the logo. We can find some tips and also we can find all the information, all the stats about new contacts added, email sent, email open and email links clicked. So it will be displayed right up here. We can change the time we are going to watch our stats for. And basically that's it. In the left top corner we also have like four folders with campaigns, contacts, forms and automation. So they provides us the opportunity to create our first automation. We can also create different forms from this page here. And if we are going to deal with our contacts we can easily create different groups to divide our subscribers into different like groups we are going to send emails for. Sometimes it could be really, really cool. And also we can interact with all the contacts here. As you can see, we have four options. We can add a new content. We can export our contacts if we want to uh, change the platform we are going to use. Also, we can easily add a new custom field for the contact. And also we can uh, find all the custom fields. I will click on plus new contact. We have to fill some information like first name, last name, email, company, birthday, and some additional fields we need to fill to add the contacts. And basically we can interact with every single contact here. As you can see, I have this one. If we'll click on more, we can find the information, we can edit or we can easily delete this contact. So that's all. These steps are quite simple. Let's try to create our new campaign in the left top corner. Let's go to campaign folder. And as you can see, I have like two campaigns here. But in this case, we're going to, e to create a new newsletter. Let's click on plus. We need to select the name. Let it be like campaign tree. And also the from name. Let it be like a helper man. And the from email. Let it be my email right up here. Let's go next to template area and from this page here we need to find out uh, how does our uh, template will look like. As you can see there are a lot of different templates divided into different temps. We can simply like uh, find some categories or do some other stuff, some, some find something which is suitable as for us. I think this one is pretty cool like about Black Friday or something like this. So let's click on apply a template and then just apply template. And let's go next to the content inside. We can easily start customizing our uh, template here. So now we are on our editor page. As you can see, it looks like this. We can switch between different devices and the letter is totally responsive. It's pretty cool. So we can easily interact with every single part. We can change the position. We can change uh, uh, like the something which is inside we can copy we can delete so let's delete this part here also I'd like to add some content blocks we can add the title here so basically we can input something we need to add for example let's add the name of uh, the name of our channel so if we'll uh, choose it we can easily make it bold italic we can change uh, some colors or do some other stuff so basically all these tabs are quite simple. So let it be like this. Um, I think it's pretty cool. And in the same way we can interact with this part here. Let's delete, uh, basically not duplicate, but delete this t-shirt. And I'd like to add some content here, maybe a new image and display it here. So we can easily find it or we can upload it from our computer or do some other stuff. And in this case we can interact with every single object. As you can see we have like this section here with text and description, this section with like two images and also like information and some products are displayed right up here. Also the button to show that which leads to maybe our online shop or something like this. So uh, there are a lot of options. Uh, we can add different sections in content area. As you can see, there are tons of different elements, image, title, paragraph, button, divider, video, HTML, and so on. Also, we can manage like rows and we can find the settings of like general options. We can uh, 
change the content area width we can change some other stuff and uh, basically when everything is done we can just simply go to recipients area uh, to find uh, send to contacts select contacts in list text or segment so we can easily uh, find all the groups we created or something like this and we can easily exclude contacts if we don't want to send uh, this email to somebody we can just simply input them right up here so let's click on next schedule so as you can see we can easily send it now or we can schedule it later so we can also time choose the time for the send and we can boost our campaign performance and we can track campaign click report on google analytics i'm going to use this one here and now we can click on submit new letter campaign and basically everything is done and uh, you are using a gmail email as a form email of this campaign this will severely affect the delivery of your emails as most receiving email servers view free uh, webmail so let's click on continue anyway it doesn't matter it's just an example so as you can see we need to input the company company name c3 and company address let it be something like this it doesn't matter something and schedule so yeah now i think now our campaign was successfully created we can just simply uh, click on edit and now we can find it somewhere here and our campaign is right up here So basically this is the easiest way of how can we add for example a newsletter if you want to create drips a, a B split test or auto trigger we can easily switch between these categories and after that just create it right up here And if we are going to discover the paid plans we can see that we have like monthly and annual payments and the uh, plan is is like it depends on our subscribers count so if you have like 1000 subscribers is only 9.99 per month 10000 is like 59 dollars like and 100000 is like 400 dollars per month which is insane so as you can see we can find all the information here we can find all the advantages and as for me it's a huge opportunity where we can easily try it for free with 14 day trial so i suggest you to try this service it's definitely worth it so guys uh, if you have any questions about this about sand x you can easily write them in the comments below i'll try to answer for all of them maybe you have question about like campaigns or contacts import or export or some other stuff you can easily write and i'll try to answer so that's all for this video i hope guys you're doing great and it made your life a little bit easier i wish you a very good day goodbye